on the last part, the Z fighters find themselves in a precarious situation. Zabon and Dodario stayed on Earth, preventing them from leaving. The Dragon Balls also had a one year cooldown, when they were actually only given a month by Frieza to gather them. Kami attempts to improve the Dragon Balls in order to get them back by the deadline. Meanwhile, Goku doesn't get to leave the other world, due to Yema heeding King Kai's order to keep Goku there. Nappa and Vegeta get to keep their bodies temporarily as well, as the two Saiyans would give the Z Fighters a greater fighting chance against Frieza. Thus, Nappa and Vegeta, Goku, Tien, Chaozu, and Yamcha start training on King Kai's planet in the meantime. One month passes by, and Frieza tries to make the wish to the dragon, but he fails. Piccolo, who was at the side of Frieza, gets the wish instead, asking to revive all those killed by Frieza. The entire gang, along with Nappa and Vegeta, now appear to face off against Frieza. How will this fight go? Will the Z fighters stand any chance against the now angry Frieza? Well, these are questions we'll answer today on Dragon Ball Z. Frieza has had enough, his plans now lay in ruin. He was gonna enjoy killing all of them slowly. So before the fight begins, let's cover the strength of all the fighters here. During the one month of training on King Kai's planet, no one had actually learned any new King Kai techniques, as it was too short of a time frame to learn them. Instead. They all simply utilize the time on King Kai's planet to improve themselves. The three Saiyans grew especially strong as they were able to quickly adapt to the 10 times gravity as well as any extremely heavy weights that King Kai gave them. Recall how Goku had grown so strong during the 6 years inside the gravity chamber on his way to Namek? Well, imagine how strong he would get with a strong sparring partner in the form of Vegeta in one month. So let's cover some power levels. Unfortunately, the trio that stayed on Earth, Piccolo, Gohan and Krillin didn't grow too much as they were under close scrutiny by the Frieza Force. So they were only at a power level of 20,000, 10,000 and 8,000 respectively. Meanwhile, Chaozu has a power level of 15,000 with Yamcha at 23,000, Tien at 25,000. Remember how Goku had gone from 8,000 to 90,000 in just 6 days? Well, Nappa is at a power level of 200,000, with Vegeta at 1 million and Goku at 800,000. Vegeta wants to handle Frieza on his own. It was his own Saiyan pride, so he tells Goku to step aside. First form Frieza shows a punch at Vegeta, which Vegeta easily catches. Vegeta at a power level of 1 million immediately overwhelms first form Frieza as he nearly crushes Frieza's fist, while Frieza struggles to free himself from Vegeta's grasp. Frieza yells in pain as he releases some of the shackles on his power, transforming into his second form, pushing Vegeta back. Now the fight becomes completely even as Vegeta and second form Frieza duke it out. Frieza decides that he has enough as he goes into his third form and starts overwhelming Vegeta, dealing considerable damage to him. Vegeta was getting pushed back, so Goku decides to jump in and help with a Kaioken stick. Unfortunately, the rest of the Z fighters including Nappa are basically fodder in this fight and jumping in to help will only get them killed. Goku goes up to Kaioken times 4 and now starts dealing significant damage to 3rd form Frieza. Frieza widens his eyes in surprise as he's punched into a rock formation. Frieza stands back up, not completely unscattered, some injuries finally showing. Frieza glares at Goku and Vegeta as he finally decides to show them, to make them understand 
what true terror, what true helplessness feels like. Frieza starts to power up to unveil his true power. As Frieza undergoes his transformation, his power steadily rises, and it was to a point that Goku and Vegeta could both tell that Frieza was immediately out of their league. Vegeta offhandedly remarks that it could be great if there was a way to heal themselves fully immediately. Goku questions Vegeta, asking what he meant. Vegeta explains to Goku about the Saiyan's unique ability, the Zenkaipus, an ability that allows them to grow multitudes stronger from a near-death battle. Goku immediately turns his head towards Krillin, asking him whether they had any senzu beans left. Similar to the Frieza saga in canon, Master Korin had managed to grow up 5 senzu beans. So, Nappa, Goku, and Vegeta nod at each other, as they literally blast a hole to each other's chest. Krillin feeds Goku the senzu bean first, as he is still pretty hesitant in doing the same for Nappa and Vegeta. However, Goku puts a hand on Krillin's shoulder, telling him that they needed their strength for this fight. Krillin hesitantly feeds the other two Senzus to Nappa and Vegeta as well, as all three Saiyans undergo a huge increase in power. With now Nappa at 2 million, with Vegeta at 10 million, and Goku at 8 million. At this point, all Nappa and Vegeta can do however is to support Goku, because Frieza had finally ascended into his final form. Frieza decides to just use 50% of his power, however he slowly realizes he can't match Goku. Goku just with Kaioken times 10 is already at a power level of 80 million. So Frieza decides to go all out as he powers up into his full power state, his muscles bulging. Goku does the same, pushing his body to his absolute limit as well, going into Kaioken times 20. Goku can slowly feel the Kaioken ripping through his body. He didn't have much time. He'll have to end this fight right away. Goku slowly charges his Kamehameha, chanting it under his breath as he pummels Frieza left and right. Frieza was only at a power level of 10 million below Goku and could still somewhat hang in there. That is until Goku launches his full power Kamehameha. Frieza tries to use his hand to block the blast. However, the Kamehameha effortlessly bypasses any of Frieza's efforts. Frieza yells as he braces for impact, the Kamehameha engulfing him. The fight was over. Goku heaves a sigh of leaf as he puts a thumbs up to Krillin. This time around though, Frieza doesn't magically pop out of nowhere to kill Krillin. The Kamehameha had indeed ended Frieza. So in the Saiyan Saga, we actually observed Goku's power level go from 416 to 950 when Goku used the Kamehameha against Raditz. Similarly here, Goku's power level of 8 million jumps up to 160 million with Kaioken times 20, and then up to 365 million when Goku uses the full power Kamehameha. Frieza, with only a power level of 150 million, simply can't handle the power of a 365 million power level Kamehameha. However, one thing to take away from this battle is the fact that Goku didn't turn Super Saiyan. Without the power of the legendary Super Saiyan transformation, will the Z fighters be able to handle the threats that are to come? A certain someone was spying on the battle between Goku and Frieza, while another person was already making his way to Earth. Would the lack of knowledge of how to turn Super Saiyan cause the Z fighters to lose in the long run? Well, these are questions we'll answer in the next part on Dragon Ball Z.